Hi friends, thought I'd get some drone footage for you today, but no good drone pilot who does YouTube would start out with anything other than a picture of himself, right? We're about 100 miles south of where we were. This is the BLM near the American Girl Mine. It's in California, but very close to the Arizona border. And we've come down here for a couple of reasons. We're going to go down to Algodonas, Mexico and get some rum, Kahlua, and cigarettes at a much better price than in the United States. This is going to be the location of a New Year's Eve party and all of these people here uh, pretty much know each other. There's room for a lot more. There are other people out here scattered out one or two at a time and you can see down there the two pointy tents. That's where the party is going to be New Year's Eve. These last two rigs out here, uh, that's me and Bruce, and we parked out here to be a little farther from the music that goes on every night. Seems like uh, a couple of people have contests to see whose speakers are the most powerful. And while we enjoy the music, uh, we also enjoy a little sleep. The American Girl Mine was a gold mine. It's no longer in operation now. There are some stories about it being visited by maybe the Spanish back in the 1600s. It was active in the uh, late 1800s and then closed for many years. But around in the 1930s, um, 205,000 tons of ore were taken out in the in the boom times. And then it uh, was inactive again until the 1980s when the price of gold went way up and then it was active for about 10 years and is not active anymore today. It's a great place to camp and you can explore a lot of those mountains back there, which I did a little bit of on my motorcycle. I finally got it running. It had a problem with the um, carburetor and had dried out in storage and the float bowl was leaking but I got a gasket uh, fixed and it's running really good. This is uh, part of the mine. We've gone up here and of course Bruce and I are going to go up there and find some piles of gold nuggets that they've apparently forgotten about and uh, we're going to get rich and buy More bigger rocks. motorcycles. Sorry about the yeah. shaky camera. I'm just climbing up the rocks here with my GoPro in my hand. Let's see if I can get up here and find all those gold nuggets. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be rich. Yeah, we're gonna be rich. Well, maybe not. It is a great view though. Hurry up, Bruce. My motorcycle running really good, and finally I handed the GoPro to Bruce so he could actually get some pictures of me riding it. And that was all going very, very well until he passed me, and then I was uh, trying to catch up to him because he got ahead of me. And I decided to cut across and take a shortcut and uh, catch up to him. And I didn't see these holes. And I hit one of them with front wheel. I flew from about there to so there. You see there's no tracks. And, you were airborne. Uh, my wh uh, wheel flopped down. My leg went in that hole and the bike fell on my leg. And I'm limping now for, I've been limping for several days. Uh, really lucky I didn't break my leg. We 
got a little present from my friend Steve, and it's a tiny little drone. And uh, we're trying to figure out how to make it fly. We worked at this for a long time. And, oop, and Hang on. There it goes. We couldn't figure out how to get it to fly uh, straight. It would just get up and take off and go in a direction, always the same direction. And we are reading and reading and reading and we can't figure it out. Mike had ideas about how it would work and Lynn was getting bored. Sam, he finally decided that uh, it ought to do it this way and I kept reading the directions and we finally figured out a couple of things. One of them was that all of the time that we're doing this for an hour, I had the controller upside down so everything we were reading wasn't working right and we kept adjusting it and adjusting it and adjusting it incorrectly. It came right for you. Came right home. Yeah. Immediately. It didn't. Without any control. Yeah. Hold on to this. Be brave. Excuse me. Yeah. Lynn finally got bored. Okay. And okay. Uh, went to take a nap. Down. And we kept doing it. We, we spent a couple of hours <laughs> trying to get this thing to fly. And finally, we just. We gave up. We could never get it to fly right. And uh, Ron was there for a while too. And so there were like three, four, five of us working on this thing. Never did get it to fly right that afternoon. Later that evening, I finally figured it out. And uh, it's a very small space in the bedroom here in my motorhome. But. Uh, I finally figured out how to get it adjusted so that it would fly and not just take off and smack into something. And uh, flying into the bedroom is going to take more skill than I have yet, but I'm getting the hang of it. So we're at the K. Sean Casino Buffet. Lynn's already finished her first plate. I have, I'm working on a prime rib. Bruce is working on his third prime rib. <laughs> what are you working on? Some salmon. Salmon? Orange chicken. Orange chicken. I had the prime rib already. You already had the prime rib. Okay. So you wanted cherry pie with strawberry ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing we came to the buffet because that didn't sound like something you could get at a normal restaurant. And, and carrot cake with vanilla ice cream. Both? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard sell. <laughs> the kitchen flavors of the world. Shrimp was pretty good. Prime rib was okay. Cherry pie. Chocolate cake. I don't know what that is. Chocolate cheesecake. Uh, I don't know if that's a carrot cake. Always something going on out here in the desert. There were five of these guys flying around and we saw them two different days. This guy here. He almost hit my 22-foot flagpole there. Well, it's a beautiful sunset. We never get tired of the sunsets here in Arizona. They're always just spectacular. And this one, this one is special because it's not only the end of the day, it's the end of the year. It is New Year's Eve, and what a fantastic, colorful sunset 
as the end of a great year. Thank you all for being a part of my YouTube channel. It's been a great year for me. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.